Over the next 16 weeks, 72 of the world's top players will be battling it out for one of poker's most prestigious titles. Taking to the felt, we have WPT and EPT champions, World Series of Poker bracelet winners and the recent Premier League champion. This could only be the PartyPoker.net World Open 3. Welcome to the PartyPoker.net World Open 3. There's over $500,000 in the prize pool and 72 of the world's top players are competing for that championship title. This is going to be an incredible tournament. Now in these heat stages of the competition, it's only winning that counts. Coming second gets you nothing. But first of all, our celebrities take to the table to check, raise and bluff their way into the first heat of the tournament but only one of them will go through to play with some of the top players in the world. So, let's meet the six celebrities battling it out for a seat in the heat number one. Hi, my name is Neil Fitzmaurice and I'm an, an actor and scriptwriter. I doubt I'm going to get very far, to be fair. I don't really know. I'm used to, I'm used to betting matchsticks. So this is a step up for me. My name is Steve Backley, I'm a retired javelin thrower. I'm a small fish in a big pond this afternoon and uh, I thoroughly intend to enjoy it. My name's Jimmy White, I'm a professional snooker player. Okay, well, if you get some good cards, you know, and put in a few good bluffs, I've got every chance. My name's Norman Pace, <laughs> part-time actor, part-time poker player. Oh, I think I'm the best player at the table. No, nobody disagreeing there? Yeah, it's, it's mine, they're going down. Uh, my name's Colin Lloyd and I'm a professional dart player. We're going to hopefully have some uh, nice game of cards and a good bit of banter, a good bit of fun. And um, like I said, I'm really looking forward to it. Hello, I'm Sam Torrance and I'm a professional golfer. If I bet, trust me, I've got a good hand. No, absolutely, I don't bluff, can't bluff. This is a real mix, as some know the game inside and out, others still getting to grips. Let's review the rules to Texas Hold'em. Play begins with each player being dealt two personal cards called hole cards. There are four possible betting rounds where the community cards are dealt face up on the table. The first three community cards make up the flop. The fourth card is known as the turn, and the final community card is known as the river. Players must make the best five card poker hand out of the seven cards available. A hold them and a roll them now for this PartyPoker.net World Open 3. These six celebrities competing for that one spot open in the main draw. And Anthony Hardy, this, uh, as far as celebrity heats go, is a pretty fearsome lineup. Yeah, this is a um, good lineup, Jesse. Um, you've got six players here. Um, most of them got good experience. Um, very, very hard to pick a winner. Norman Pace, they're probably the favorite based on the fact that he plays poker quite a bit and has had some success in this format a lot of experience in the one table but uh, between some of the others Jimmy White of course the most poker laurels Jimmy White the whirlwind the winner of the second poker million and uh, he can gamble he can play players are going to be starting with a hundred thousand each in tournament chips the yellow is worth a thousand blues are two reds are five thousand you need to get all six hundred thousand in play to get into that main draw rest from this table numero uno and number one blind starting at one in two thousand will be colin lloyd in the big blind first action on normski norman pace and, uh, any prediction here Anthony, for who's going to set the tone? I, I feel Jimmy's going to come out quite aggressively and um, oh. try and make a bit of a stand here. Pass. Pass. Jimmy White, of course, limping Pass. in there with the 10 6 of spades. No raise. Jimmy's taken a lot of stick uh, for some of his play, but the great thing about the way Jimmy plays, I think, is he's not scared to be aggressive, Anthony, and you can make up for a lot with that, can't you? Yeah, he's fearless, Jimmy. 
right now he's in trouble because Colin Lloyd has flopped a set of fours. Does Jaws know how good they are? Check, 6,000. <laughs> Jimmy, you can't slow him down. Lloyd's got a huge hand. Raised. Raised. Oh, well, he announced raise, so uh, they're going to force him to put in the minimum rate, and Jimmy White takes the hint quickly, lays them down. First pop to Colin Lloyd, who was hoping, I guess, that White had an ace there. Yeah, um, if I was Colin there, I'd have probably flat called that, um, but he secured the pot at the earliest opportunity. It's not always a bad thing. And uh, I'll bring a smile to Colin's face. Professional dart player. <laughs> Sam Torrance on the button. So Sam's played quite a few of these one table satellites. He likes his poker. I know he plays quite a bit online. Call. Two hands and Jimmy White's Pass. come into two pots Pass. with the ten high. He's definitely Pass. looking to play some flops. <laughs> Look at this. Call. <laughs> How about Lloyd? No He's flopped a set of fours to first hand. He's got pocket aces to second hand. Uh, this could be his knight. But uh, Bookie, uh, he's chosen just to limp in from the small blind. Is that a dangerous way to play? Yeah, very dangerous with aces, really. Um, you're not going to know where you are on the flop. Looking at the hands out against him, safe so far. Norman Pace has got it pair of Tech. fours and we'll test the waters right now. Four thousand. Pass. Call. I thought Lloyd was gonna raise there. It will it'd be hard for people to know where he's at. A king would make it interesting, Jesse. Sure would. You went on the signal. Oh, you called it, Anthony. <laughs> and uh, all of a sudden, Colin Lloyd in terrible trouble. This is what you get when you slow play Six aces. <clears throat> they say if you, Raise. if you limp with aces, you're either going to win a small pot or lose a big one. And Colin Lloyd looks like he's going to be on the verge of losing a very 18, big 000. one. Pace has got the red run here. 18,000 rays. There's just no way Lloyd can get away from these, is there? No, he looks in a bit of bother here, really. What should be going through his head? Well, he could be thinking no one's got Ice King. Or some kind of King flush draw, even. Or... I mean, there are quite a few hands pace could have raised on the don't beat aces or or are there not i mean yeah it could be it could be flashing as well couldn't he unfortunately this has gotten very serious this call. action it's 12 to call. and uh, pace giving a long look over call. there he knows he wants a call now wouldn't want to see a jack or three or the river would norman anything else will be safe bar the ace <coughs> chance that'll slow the action down? No, I think I think Lloyd is going to uh, check here and um, no one will probably bet. 20,000. Big bet there. One thing Norman Pace does not like doing is I'll paying pay off. off. Oh. <laughs> he will. Yeah. Two pair beats what? Everybody's saying he's looky there. Mm. And a big pot for Norman Pace, who's continuing his torrid run on these celebrity tables. Did Colin Lloyd do anything wrong there? Yeah, he's, he's slow played the aces. I played in this World Open, Jesse, two years ago uh, in the semi final um, against Tony Bloom, and I slow played the aces, and uh, he caught us straight on the flop, and uh, unfortunately, most of my chips. Oh, no, what's he in with here? Colin Lloyd learning the hard way, perhaps, that. The rockets, the ones, the walking sticks are just one pair. Sometimes you look down and you see those two aces, you think that there's just no way you're going to lose this hand. No, but any any sort of raise, and um, Norman's got to pass the king for. First forward movement from Bagley, and here comes 
Cole. Fitz Morris. That is scary. Pass. <laughs> the writer Pass. from Cole. London Town. No race. And he's limped in now with the Kings. Yeah, they're all doing it. Is this just a slow player's paradise, or do you think perhaps early on in one of these heats, you just don't people don't want to get too aggressive uh, early? Yeah, possibly. We're going to see a four-way flop. Jimmy White in the big blind with the nothing at all. Check. And the Kings not Check. looking very good right now, are they? Backley's throwing a two pair in. Six thousand. <laughs> you kind of feel for uh, Fitzmaurice here, don't you? I mean, they look so pretty, those kings. But on the ace, deuce, three flop, Pass. they're they're garbage, aren't they? Pass. Exactly. I mean, when the ace comes over and you've got kings, I mean, it's so hard to call. Imagine they're going to lose the other two players here. Pace and White. Although Jimmy. Jimmy is in trouble now. He's just caught his second pair. And uh, Ace is upbeat. Eight's up. This could be the quickest celebrity heat in history. Cole. Oh, has Jimmy folded his hand? Wow. Lucky for Jimmy White. He didn't chase bottom pair. I know. As it is, the bet and the call from Fitzmorris, who's drawn dead to the king. He hasn't hit it. And, uh... Steve will bet here, and he should get paid off. Well, you've been a big fan of yours, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> he wishes he could say the same. <laughs> Fitzmorris trying to talk back out of betting here. Is it going to work? Yeah. Neil. I'm going to tell you that. Compulsory. <laughs> you know, this is the uh, the third time that Backley's been in one of these televised one table 10, tournaments, and uh, just get the feeling that he's determined to improve on his performances. The last two times, he's been practicing on the internet. And I believe it's paid off. That's a pretty well sized bet, well, isn't it? For the sake of just not wanting to back Yeah, out. I mean, most of the sportsmen, Jesse, yeah, are, right. are very competitive, so uh, poker poker suits them. Okay, gentlemen. Betting call, two pair, yes. while not looking pretty okay. before the flop. Okay, There's a picture oh, of help yeah. right there. Was a big fan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I didn't know what. I didn't know whether he was just kind of going for it. Then, do you know what I mean? Come on. This tournament is going at a fast pace. We'll be back with more action after the break. Welcome back to the PartyPoker.net World Open 3. Six celebrities are trying to make their mark at the poker table tonight. Four sportsmen plus two actors. We've seen some great performances along with some competitive plays so far. Let's get back to the action with Jesse May and Anthony Hardy. You know, Anthony, the first time <laughs> I ever saw Sam Torrance play poker on TV, he called a string bet on him. <laughs> and it cost him about half the chips on the table. Pass. Uh, didn't seem to be that familiar with live poker, but I th that was quite a few years ago, and it looks like he's put the time in. He looks Cole. very comfortable to me. He does, yeah. Out of the six Cole. players, he's the one making the moves at the moment. Cole. Okay. Cool. No race. No race. Backley got things started off here, limping in with the big ace, and wouldn't he love to see that case ace on the flop? Everybody's in this one except for Jimmy White. This might be the first time in poker history there's a five-handed <laughs> before the flop and Jimmy White is the man sitting out. <laughs> check, check. Take a picture. Check. check. Jaws has hit three check. fives here and he's checked it. Check. In fact, everybody's checked it. Ice would be interesting. Check, check. check. He's doing well to try and get some action here, Colin, isn't he? Check. He is, yeah, check. he's playing the trap check game. The uh, nice thing is he's got the whole table nearly drawing dead against him, although an eight would make Torrance a backdoor straight. Check. And could be ugly. Let's check. 
change nothing. Do you like the way Colin Lloyd has played Check. this, or not really? No, I mean, Check. come Check. the river card, Jesse. Any red card and the flush is, is up. You know, it's, it's a dangerous game. Okay. I mean, of course. Uh, <laughs> because oh, slow play. For that very reason, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's showing it now. Yeah. It's a double-edged sword of slow playing, isn't it? Sometimes it's a great way to get action, and then sometimes it can get you in trouble. Yeah, especially as you know, uh, the, the early hand he got done on the aces through 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 not raising. Hey, watch you, eh? <laughs> he's sneaky, isn't he? I'm a professional dart player. Won a couple of world titles. Been the world number one. Been world number one for two years. You know, I'm fortunate enough that. Um, I can do something that I'm pretty good at. I've actually been throwing darts since I was an 11 year old boy, um, so 22 years. My mum was a dart player, so then my brother was a dart player as well, and all of a sudden the dart board appeared in the house. And I thought, alright, what's that all about then? And I think the thing that attracted me to it is because it was people look at darts as a weapon, and I think, well, I can throw that against that round thing that's on the wall. And um, practice, 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 I started throwing, I thought, well, I don't know, I'm half decent at this. And it just went on from there. I'm just a genuine normal guy. But um, when it comes to getting on the dartboard, you know, I look at the bigger paychecks, the further you get, and just becoming a champion and, um, and becoming a winner. You know, if you're the last one standing out of about 5,000 people, you know, what better feeling is that? So that's, that's what drives me on, just the winning aspect. You know, win, win, win at all costs, just win, win, win. I've played a little bit of poker. I can keep quite a good poker face, I think. Can you imagine me going back to the rest of the fellow dark pros who think they can play poker? I said, yeah, well, I just won the World Open. What do you think of that? We've seen some big hands out already. Four players have what they started with their better so far, Anthony. Yeah, if Neil Fitzmaurice down the bottom there, Jesse, still hasn't won a hand, and uh, as you say, um, you know, he, he needs to win one shortly. Tightest player at the table, Norman Pace, but that's not surprising. Pace has one of those good, solid, tight, aggressive games, doesn't he? But, um, I think the only certainty usually when Norman's just down the table, he's, he's not going to be first out. Pass. Gets in there in the thick of it. Call. Pass. Jimmy White's flat call, call here with a pair of eights. Uh, plus nine. Wow. Raised to eleven. Hands here. No. Oh, dead sorry. Two plus nine is eleven. Okay. Um, no, it's a good one. fall by Colin Lloyd. No, what did he pick up? Yeah, but 11? the big yes, blind is going to raise it to two. Okay. It's all right. What do you think Jimmy will do here? I think Pass. Jimmy will call here. Must have me. Nine, Nine if you wish to call. Did you give them aces back? I only get one of <laughs> them. Cool. Cool. I wonder if that'll price Fitzmaurice in with the pocket pair as well. Okay, I think it will because he hasn't more. really seen a hand. Cool. Question is, do you think Jimmy knows where he's at? I mean, uh, obviously, if Jimmy does put Torrance on the big cards, if it comes low cards, then Jimmy should go to war, I guess. Yeah, I think we'll see. Uh, if low cards come, I think we'll see Jimmy bet. This is the dreaded one over card flop, although eights are good right check. now. Check, check, check. check. Mm. So it's been checked around. Has someone missed a bet? Ace or queen or four? None of those, so eights of Jimmy White still good. There's 35,000 for grabs in that pot. 15. 15,000. Jimmy's, Jimmy's thinking, is he on the king? Cool. Cool. It's not an easy call, is it? I mean, Torrance could have, say, nines, cool. tens, or jacks here, couldn't he? It's a good call, and Fitzmaurice is called as well. This pot's huge. Massive. And looks dangerous, oh. but I imagine that's yeah, going to make yeah, Jimmy yeah. feel pretty good. Thing. Yeah. Check. 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 Okay. <laughs> Best possible situation here for Jimmy White is that he uh, got the didn't have to pay a big bet on the river. And the eights are good. He's going to be chip leader here. Horrible board. White up to 164, and he's. Done it with the best hand. <coughs> Fitzmaurice. Me? 
fine. Yeah, it's okay. Well, it's just pretty Max. much just like a leaky drain right now. Uh, obviously. Cool. Been much choice about his cards. Pass. <coughs> Cole. <Pull. coughs> I think these players Pull. are recognizing that Lloyd is a bit of a trickier customer, yes. perhaps, because uh, he has been looking like very strong, hasn't he? Yeah. 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 Also, no uh, re he's been playing a lot on the internet lately, Lloyd. I've been playing with him, so uh, he's obviously picked up a lot of experience from that. Certainly has. Possibilities Check. out there. Check. Check. So top pair, top kicker for Jaws. Six thousand. That looks perfectly Pass. sized to me. Pass. Will Fitzmaurice Cole hoping to hit a queen. Instantly keep forgetting what I've got. Is that a good sign? Wishing those diamonds were hearts. Pass. Pass. Perhaps a sign that he's not ready to give up the ghost yet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Lloyd taking the money. Run around. That's too much. Using up too much energy doing that. He's got a amount of moves soon. Fitzmaurice Jesse's down to twenty-six thousand now. I know it's a depressing thing to say what after still on the first <laughs> level, but he's, <laughs> he's just really <laughs> blittered and blattered him, hasn't he? I mean, uh, no traffic. He just can't get involved, <laughs> oh, can he? Nice. It's, it's kind of like trying to keep track of sand around through your fingers. He just doesn't know where it's gone. It's just gone. Pass. Pass. It's funny, uh, Pass. Cool. Cool. No, it's two thousand here, three thousand there. Cool. I mean, you feel like it's the first level; it's cheap, Base, but six thousand more. It adds up, doesn't it? Yeah, he's just leaking chips all over the place, isn't he? And not for the first time, Torrance getting very aggressive from the blinds. Six to call. You know, he's a bit short stacked, but you wouldn't know that by looking at his stern expression. Call. Pass. He's got Backley in his sights again. This was kind of the flop Torrance had in mind. Twelve. Twelve thousand. Pass. I guess they call it a limper's tax, Bookie. I mean, uh, Torrance seems to be punishing people who are coming in weak on his blinds, and it's it's working for him. It's getting back in touch, but uh, I guess the big surprise here, Jimmy White won five hands on 162,000. Uh, Morris yet to break his virgin. Come on, Neil, break your duck. Yeah. This is Pass. <laughs> not the exact thing he had in mind when he woke up this morning. 5,000. Kind of going according to script for the whirlwind here. What do you think of Backley's game so far? I'm quite impressed with it. Um, I've, I've seen him play before and um, sort of been a bit naive before. Whereas I suppose he's, he's picked up a bit of experience and um, yeah, he's, he's played a good solid game today. Deuce is there. Uh, can understand why he folded them, I guess. Just didn't want to pay the money. It's, it's kind of hard to see a flop that you like with deuces it doesn't involve a deuce but Colin Lloyd's peeling off the flop here similar situation to the first hand when he flopped three sixes except excuse me three fours except this time it's Jimmy White who's got top pair check twelve twelve thousand pass and the White is playing like a machine here I mean if you go back it's he's played pretty much a flawless game hasn't he he has, yeah. Before this uh, heat started, I would have said Jimmy was the favourite. Well, he's certainly looking like that now. 25 to 1 you got him, Matt, huh? 
Yeah, 25 <laughs> to 1. <laughs> and I played in running as well as uh, <laughs> each contestant got knocked out. I remember. It was the first in running poker market yeah, in history. Is that Cole? Yeah, Cole. He's getting Pass. some cards too, it's the whirlwind. This is uh, just a limping with the tens. Cool. Is this where you uh, Pass. are limping, expecting cool. perhaps to re-raise? No raise. Or is he trying to mix it up? He's eating some cards now, Jimmy. <laughs> yes. Makeup start to smudge. <laughs> you look beautiful. Thank <laughs> <Becky> darling. <laughs> Tell you when everything's going your way, mm. you play the tens and it comes all undercards, doesn't it? Yeah, great flop there for the tens. Six. Six thousand. And when things aren't going against you, you flop bottom pair and are Four. virtually drawn dead. Yeah, he's just putting Pass. a small bet there, Jimmy, and he's got a caller from Fitzmorris. Morris looking for the king or three to say the fates don't shine in his favor. But perhaps Check. the sun shines Check. out of a rosy <coughs> flower sometimes. Uh. Will he check this or will he bet? It'll be tough for white to get away from this, isn't it? Eight. Oh. Eight thousand. Jimmy might set him all in here. Raise. Yeah. Sorry. What was that? That's okay. Another eight, isn't it? Well, you can understand why Jimmy White is raising here. He doesn't believe the king could have helped Fitzmaurice. Cool. But as it is, this is going to be great news for the writer. Yep. That's me, then. Okay. Okay. Doesn't want to see a 10. No, but uh, on the verge of winning his first pot. Neil you know, Fitzmaurice, just two oh, cards nice. in the deck to hit him. And uh, just goes to show you... Sometimes everything can <laughs> change on the turn of a card, don't it? Want to learn more? You're staying. Yeah. It would have been a bit unlucky for Fitzmaurice there if the ten had gone. I'm wanting everything. Well done, <laughs> My dad'll be so proud. Yeah. Yeah. Had a lovely day. You hooked now, mate. I think oh, I think that may have made his day, as he said. I was talking about the Yeah, well played. It's nice to see someone win their first pot. Yeah. Unlucky, Jimmy. And who knows, stranger things have happened, he might go on to win the heat. Exactly. Takes a inch by inch, row by row, makes the garden grow. Amazingly, we are still in the first level. I mean... Cole? Like there Pass. have been tournaments when it's Pass. been over and done with by now. Pass. But these guys are all playing good cards. Cool. cool. Backly in with the KJ. No race. Blind and blind. But, uh, Norman Pace has been the tightest player at the table so far. Here he is now with the top pair. Backley's got a much prettier looking check, hand. Check, check. And Jimmy's at the middle pair. Mm. Six. Six thousand. It's kind of a big test of Norman Pace's <coughs> escape opportunities. The, the three diamonds may help him here. Pass. Pass. Some would say an easy fold, but a very good fold nonetheless. Level one in the back. books. And uh, I'd say a pretty fair result. Jimmy White and Norman Pace on top. Uh, Nobody has done themselves out of it here. Blinds up now to two and four thousand. And. How does this sort of jump, it's not a huge jump, of course, first level to second level, but how do you think it changes the game? Well, as, as, the, bl as the blinds get higher, um, I would imagine that they've all got to get a bit more aggressive.
can't limp with the same hands that you had previously limped with, perhaps? No, but it's nice to know that you're, you're actually getting 21 hands each level, Jesse. So if people are taking their time over hands, you, you know you know actually how many you're going to see in the session. As it is, limp by Fitzmorris with the 8-9, folded around to Backley, who's Check. also got the 8-9. Fitzmaurice had a teeny bit of wind in his sails there. He thought to bet and then backed off. Go on, take it. Take it, Neil. <laughs> Look at Jimmy White. He's about to burst out laughing. <laughs> it's like he's afraid to bet, isn't it? I'll do that. 6,000. 6,000. Hey. Well, he's one hand is already for ending it. Have it. That's what that does. I'll tell you what that does is that. <laughs> I tell you what, I don't think he wants to try it against the others, but Backley let it go. It was a pretty apologetic bluff. But anyway, good courage nonetheless, wasn't it? Yeah, there's no stopping him now. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, just going back to the, the, the 21 hands per session, I mean, I've been in some marathons, and uh, when it's on a clock, um, obviously you run out of hands, but um, it, it, it's nice to see there's a set amount. It really is. And uh, say it just adds to the level of strategy that it takes to win one of these things, which is likely to be good for poker. Cool. Hello. Cool. Torrance, who's been raising everything that's moved, has now decided to call. Two more. Not dissuaded, perhaps, oh, nice. by the fact that Colin Lloyd got done with this hand earlier. No, I'm surprised he hasn't raised them. Uh oh. Fitzmaurice having a look at his chips. Has he checked it? Do I put on it? Yeah. We are four ways here. <laughs> <laughs> And the quick look to see if the aces are still good, they are. Although Jimmy White could get strung out a little bit with second pair. Six thousand. Huh. What is Neil Fitzmaurice up to? Well, he's got a bit of confidence, Jesse, from that last hand. You know, he, he made a bet last hand and uh, won the pot, so he's thinking oh, perhaps he'll do the same nice. again. This situation a little bit Time different. He's got seconds. three monsters with 27 teeth yeah. behind him. And Torrance wasting no time in the raise. This is going to help Jesse, though, Torrance raising, because uh, Jimmy can now get away from the hand. Yeah, good information for him. That's exactly what's happened. Another 10,000 to you. 10,000 to you. <laughs> Fitzmaurice kind of stuck in this situation. Sometimes you don't want to fold so easily because you don't want to let people know you were bluffing, but you can't really call, can you? No, he was in unknown territory there, Morris. He's got uh, 48,000 chips. I would have been... A shame Sorry, what was your name? Dina. Queens and Ford. We were sitting there with seven four. Uh huh. Not supposed to be pointing it out. I'm alright. Two thousand, please. <laughs> <laughs> That's I'm supposed to point it out to everyone. Darling, don't worry about it. Every time I play, when I first, you know, Torrance has won a few pots with some big hands. He's shown them all. Thank you. Just wonder if he's doing some advertising, yeah. perhaps for Speak later 4, on when he doesn't have anything. But we'll see. Do better than that, <laughs> Pass. This game Pass. seems very fairly matched 4, so far. Cool. <coughs> Jimmy White mixing it up a little bit here, limping in. Cool. Another two. Pretty hand. Pass. She's brought back, we call it. Anyways. Nice drinking. Sam the Rockets. Only three way. He's between a Sam and a hard place, is Jimmy White. <laughs> oh, look at that. Okay. He's plopped the nuts here. Wow. Ten Jack, Queen, Ten. King, Ace, Broadway. 10,000. Sam Torrance has got an up and down. In fact, he's actually got the worst hand. 
cards at least has three cards to tie. Cool. How about that call okay. from Jimmy White? Fantastic flat call. He's going to allow Backley to get himself in a ton of trouble here, isn't cool. he? Cool. Mm -hmm. in. Will Torrance shut this down? A nine would be a disaster for Sam. An ice would be good. Mm -hmm. And not what I wanted to see, I have to be honest. Check. Check. <laughs> 20. 20,000. Is that going to end this? Well, if, if Backley puts him on a nine or an ace, yes, but if he doesn't, um, you know, I think he's going to call it Backley. I mean, is White wishing that he had raised the flop now, or did he just get a bit unlucky here that the, the turn card came a card that's not going to get him any more action? No, I think, he's, I think he's played it right. He's looking off into a space. He knows he has the nuts right now. His hand cannot be beat. I don't know if Batley can get away with this, Jesse, with a top pair. I don't know if he's experienced enough. Yeah, and perhaps Jimmy White's reputation precedes him, that Jimmy could be bluffing. Pass. Mm, good pass. I, him. I didn't want to see the jet. I flopped it, says oh, the whirlwind. Oh, I had you. Oh, my God. <laughs> Any card but the jet. Oh my god! <laughs> Naughty girl. <laughs> oh, everything Brandon, going the whirlwind's way so far. <laughs> oh no, thanks for that. The nuts. Nice. <laughs> Don't make person? No, I had the uh, jack six of spades. Oh. I was looking for a spade or an ace and that. <laughs> Both gone and then it's gone. <laughs> Taking it personally. Four thousand. Pass. Blinds up two and four thousand. Cool. cool. White does feel like he's playing every hand, but he's been getting the run of cards, cool. hasn't he? Yeah, yeah, he's played very well. He's it. He's hit good cards, Pass. but he's played them well. Cool. Backley's been playing just about the same frequency, and fortunately, he's missing both the flops and the pots. Colin Lloyd in the big blind here with the big slick. This could be trappy. Are are all four kings out? They are. <laughs> That's indicative of what you threw in. Watch yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't believe I threw a queen in. Oh. Fitzmaurice has oh, no, no. thrown away the queen eight. Yeah. From the button, too. He's going to be kicking himself. And here comes Colin Lloyd with nothing. Oh. Cool. What do you think? White on the flush draw. Pass. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> and Torrance is the best hand. Bottom pair of Dukes. A deuce, a heart, or an ace. Check. Check. Would change the horses. Check. Check. And how surprised would Sam Torrance be to find out he has the best hand right now? Check. Check. It's 40,000 in there, Bucky. Any Check. chance one of these guys might bluff? Nope. No. Not to happen. Kind of what you call mutant comprehension beats me, they said. Give Sam the money. You need to lose. You can have that yeah, hand every exactly. time if you like. <laughs> we won't complain. Mythical <laughs> six. Fitzmaurice so complaining about his. Mm. They call it flop lag. Every time he folds, he cool. would have hit the flop, and every time he calls, cool. he seems to miss everything. And uh, Pass. I think I've heard other Pass. poker players having Pass. years Pass. like that. Pass. Anyway, they even yeah. had careers like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Roland the Wolf makes sure to play every flop just in case he would have missed something. Good philosophy as well. And, uh, 
Perfect. Two limpers in Backley and Fitzmaurice, and White in the big blind. Backley's got the best hand 10, and is betting it. This is trouble for Neil, isn't it? Two fives. Cool. Cool. Pass. Interestingly enough, uh, Bookie, this is kind of how Morris Fitzmorris won the only pot he has won. Flopping bottom pair and hitting the turn. Can he do it? Okay. Will Backley bet here? 10,000. Ten. Ten This is... He knows he should pass, but he wants to call. <laughs> some of it. What kind of information can he gain here that he should pass? Backley's, Backley's bet twice? Well, no, but he's, he's called the last bet, so he's thinking the three hasn't improved Backley's hand. He's hoping Backley has some kind of draw. He's, he's just hoping, really, isn't he? I think Backley might start worrying that his hand isn't best. No, he's not worried at all. 20. 20. Oh, that's aggressive. That's a good one, haven't I? We get to say the immortal words. And Fitzmaurice has put a lot of money in this pot. I think he's going to call. Yeah, you got, got to say him. You got to say him. We have our first casualty. We do. Mm. Right. Um. Another team. Fitzmaurice is all in, in and fun. this is <laughs> how good goes <laughs> bad and then worse, isn't it, uh, Bucky? Yeah. Yeah. Certainly, sir. Nice. Oh. Pair of nine, second pair, no oh. kicker. Oh, and who would have thought that a pot that big could develop? Nice. But uh, no, no, mind. Good well mind, well done, mate. Well done, mate. Well done, well done. That is like a pro, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> he's pretty much ripped Fitzmaurice. Oh, holy my guard. Thank you. It's an experience he won't soon forget. Fitzmaurice had the temerity to flop bottom pair. It never got better, and Backley never backed off. Milked him like a Cheshire cow, and uh, that's the end. If you're an experienced poker player, you haven't got the, the nerve to, to bluff as much as the others, so you need something to give you a bit of backbone to get into the game with. And there's only really one hand. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm actually pleased I want a hand, to be honest with you. Yeah, well, we through the, the second level, level, and we are five-handed. Poor Neil Fitzmaurice just couldn't get going. But how do you think shape it up with the other five? Yeah, it's shaping up very nicely. Um, Jimmy White being the main aggressor, uh, with our chip lead with 150,000. One seven hands. Steve Batley's playing very well. I'm quite surprised how he's playing, Jesse. Are you? Yeah, I think the time he's put in on the internet shows. And, uh, of course, Norman Pace, who's... Cool, thank you. Looks to be on the button. It's got very hot in the last Excuse me, in the blind, this hand. They've just put them blowers on. They've got to get some cold water in a clean glass. <laughs> <laughs> Your four, please. <laughs> Do you live in it? I live in Epsom, yeah, not far. Oh. Yeah. Norman Pace is on the button, this hand. He has been the most conservative player pre-flop-wise on the table, but uh, Norman's quite experienced at this format. And he's going to step that up, isn't he, as the blinds get higher? Yeah, Norman will sort of hang in there, won't he? He won't make any sort of rash moves, and um, he'll probably be there at the end. Raise. Uh, speak of the devil, 7-8 suited, triple the blinds, and the respect given Norman Pace, he deserves it. needed to go to the loo to get my raising in order. Mm. <laughs> it's your uh, small blind, please. Well. It doesn't change the way. It never gets out of the way for you, mate. You're a machine. You, um, Norman trying you to... You had that pre-planned, did you, in the loo? Soften Ginny up. Yeah, yeah, I'll I'll my own great I come back, he was in this, whole, in this box here. I don't know what he was doing, <laughs> but he was in there. That's <laughs> <laughs> talking to Dino, you see. It's with E for four. Plus. Cool. Cool. Make it eight. Eight thousand to play. Double the bet. This. Eight for six. I think. Eight. Uh, sorry, four, four more. I think Pace has raced two in a row here. Has he lost his? Another four. 
He mess around his hand? Yeah. No, I think what's happened, it's Jesse, is now that we've gone to the him. second level, he's realised he's got to be a bit more aggressive. And uh, Jimmy White just calling with the two eights there. Little do he know what great shape he's in. There's only the queen over card against him, and two of them are out. That is a flop that's bred for action. Check. Check. Torrance, middle pair, and the flush draw. 20. 20,000. The uh, percentage is showing him to be a favorite over Jimmy White right now. And Norman's got a bit of this as well. You know, Norman's going to get involved here. It's a big bet. It's 20,000. Oh, no, he's not. That's he's passed it. He's put it down. Good bet, Sam. Wow. Very good bet. A lot of respect given from Jimmy White laying down the eights. And, uh... Thank you. Torrance put the kind of bet out there that meant serious business, and it took the pot. That was a surprising fold by Jimmy White, but perhaps he just thought that board looked a little dangerous. Dangerous flop for him, really. I think he's, he, he feels if he gets involved in that pot with a flush draw, he might have to risk all his chips. Cool. Sam Torrance <laughs> taking over the chip lead, and Jimmy White and himself are... Slowly and forcefully making mincemeat of this table. Cool. Cool. You know, with uh, Neil Fitzmaurice gone, Colin Lloyd is the short Anyways. stack right now. And it's been a bit unfortunate. He's caught some good cards and hasn't managed to make them stand up. He's looking a bit disgruntled right now. Needs to hit a flop, I guess, here. Last time Colin Lloyd played on a TV table, he was a narrow runner-up finisher Check. to Check. Phil Taylor in a darts-only table, and I'm sure he's looking to improve on that. Pass. Best hand takes it there. These are the thing in the Esplanade at large. <laughs> you know, from don't often from get this feeling, uh, there's a big circle. Funky, but I just started thinking that circles. this is one of those tournaments you that whoever comes through the celebrity heat is going to be a serious contender in the main draw. Funnily enough, I was just thinking and that so myself. Um, normally, the celebrity that comes through, you know, the other, the rest of the, the field think, oh, it's an easy walkover. Um, but I don't think on this occasion it's going to be that way. No, the sponsors had priced the winner of the <laughs> celebrity heat as a hundred to one outsider to win the main event. I mean, if the book was still open, twelve, twelve to play. You'd want to be at the window right now. I didn't even know there was betting on it. Is there betting on it, Jesse? Yeah, you were hundred and ten to one. No, <laughs> no, yes, there was the sponsors. So I think you were priced around thirty threes, which was not far from the favourites. Cool. Cool. Uh, but uh, the raise here has been up to 12,000. And I think it was Jimmy White. At the Queen Seven of Hearts, he's gotten called by two better hands. Flop to come. And they've all missed. 15. 15. Oh, this is great stuff from Jimmy, isn't it? Yeah, great play. Call this a continuation bet, don't they? Yeah, following it through, firing more bullets. Smell a rat. Pass. <laughs> Call this if you don't like potatoes, yeah, right. says the world. And then he shows the bluff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, calm down there, calm down. <laughs> Two can play at this game, he says. They're starting to get away, aren't they? White and Torrance. Yeah, they are. Yeah, it's the first to crack that 200,000 mark. It's in such a strong position in these things, aren't they? Yeah. All of a sudden, I wonder if Backley's limping in habit is going to start costing him money. The 
Queen seven doesn't look good right now, but flop to come. White with the free flop and the big blind. And hello, Jack. darling. Back me should check this. He's putting on the act. He's probably gonna bet it, but he should check it. Fifteen. Fifteen thousand. Yeah, Too big a hand <laughs> for him, isn't it? Massive hand. <laughs> it's hard sometimes to slow plays. You just want to get money in that pot. In these six-handed events, you no, know, there's only there's only 12 cards out, and um, you know the hands are worth so much more than a sort of nine or ten seater table. And you don't get that many opportunities to have a big hand and make some money, do you? No, when you when you get them, you you you've got to make them pay. But um, if you haven't been playing that long, obviously you're not you're not aware of those situations. Pass. It's a fine balance, Colin Lloyd. Pass. Just trying to keep the ship steady. Rise. Rise. Here comes Norman Pace. Twelve to play. Eight more. Button raises have been his bread and butter. And Backley could get himself in some trouble here. The eight. Cool. Ace Deuce, a tough hand to play in a raised pot, isn't it? Yeah, I don't like Ace Rag, especially now. Backley thinks he's in front here, Jesse. Yeah, this could get ugly, don't you think? What's your prediction? 15. I think they do a lot of chips, Backley, in this pot, especially if Norman Flat calls. I mean, it's a great bet from Backley if he can take the information if Pace raises. Yeah, I think Pace will probably raise here and, and, and Backley will get off the top. But if he flat calls here, then uh, I think he'll get most of Backley's chips. Is Pace at all worried about being beat? It doesn't appear to be looking that way. Deep reach of red. 19,000. Red rum, a red 19, rum. 19. It sounds like you've lost his voice, he couldn't he speak, and just threw the book. <laughs> yeah, we'll have some of that. And the raise is 19,000, and this is going to start getting expensive for Backley, who can ill afford it. In fact, he and Norman Pace have roughly the same chips. A deuce is the javelin thrower's hope. Now there are some split po possibilities. Yeah, plenty of them, aren't there? Any five jack or king? Yeah, All in. Oh no! Oh dear. Although he's put he's that's put Norman in a tough spot. That's not a bad move actually, because Norman what's Norman thinking now? Is he thinking he's caught the straight? Or is he thinking that he called with Ace King? You know, I mean among the things Pace must be thinking is I played with this guy before. He's played with Backley before, and Backley was the tightest player at the table. I mean, he can't really beat anything but a bluff, can he? I don't think Pace is going to call this. 77. He's gone white. I don't think he's going to call it. He has gone very pale or very red. I know Norman's style, and I think Norman's going to put this down. He's looking hot and bothered. Well, Pace is having a count of his chips. The answer is going to be that if he folds here, he'll have about 80,000 left. What a bet Backley's made. What a move from Backley. I don't think he can call this. <laughs> you know, if Backley does get called and goes out, he's going to have his heart on his shield, isn't he? He is indeed. Just when we said Norman Pace has come out of this level changing gear, Backley's changed gear. Do you think Backley has clued into the fact yet that he's in terrible trouble if he gets called? He must know. He must know he's bluffing. He's looking quite calm, though, isn't he? 
He's going to fold this, oh, Jesse. Oh, boy, he doesn't look happy. He has folded it. And Backley, oh, a yes. new voice has risen among these celebrities. What a move from Backley. He's going to show it, is he? I mean, if he shows anything, he should just show the deuce and get on with it. <laughs> <laughs> He's shown it as well. Oh, no. Oh, look at Norman. That hurts. Nice it was well played. I mean, you really cannot blame Norman Pace for folding there, can you, Hardy? No, you can't. You can't indeed. So, uh, just yeah. some brilliance from Backley. Unbelievable. <laughs> These players could get lucky on the river, but could they dive into the tournament with some of the world's best players? Let's see who's out next after the break. Welcome back to the PartyPoker.net World Open 3. Before the break, the first of our celebs were knocked out, and Neil Fitzmaurice now watches this game play out from the green room. As we move into the next stage of the game, Sam Four. Torrance Four is thousand. the leader with 177,000 in Four. chips. Pass. And a raise. <clears throat> raise. This is the kind of hand that Norman Pace total. is probably not backing off of. No, it's a, it's a dangerous hand, Ace Jack. It's funny, it looks so much better than Ace-10, but it's not that much different, is it? No, not really. And uh, Torrance, even though he's beat here, if he decides to peel off a flop no. here, I wonder if he knows that all Pace's chips could be in play if he hits it. It's 12,000 more. Well, he's got enough chips to gamble with, hasn't he, Sam? I think that's what he's thinking. He's just having a little count up there to see what sort of position he'll be in. On the one hand, he doesn't want to let Norman Pace back in it. But is oh. this... No. Nope. Yeah. But he could be thinking, you know, I can take Norman out here. I think you're right. And if Torrance yeah. does hit a pair, it could be check all in. Cool. There's pot 38,000 here. Torrance with live cards, Pace with the good ace. Check. Check one. He's checked in the dark. The one card Norman did not want to see, the king. It always looks scary when you don't have a king and the guy's called your raise. Torrance so might bet this, Jesse. Check. Check. I think he checked in the dark. He might bet it now. He may bet it now. Unless an ace comes. Oh! Check. Check. That was mana for Norman Pace. is on his way towards redemption here in this heat. I'm all in. All in. That, that's, a, that's a good bet because if he, if he makes a small bet, Torrance might pay to try and hit a jack. Yeah. And if the jack comes, that gets uh, Pace in all sorts of trouble too, Pair. Well played, Norman. Yeah, we're not fooling around no more, says Norman. Mm. No more Mr. Nice Guy. Come this over here. this <laughs> is the management. Well, I'm one half of the double act tail and Pace. I'm the, uh, the one without the facial hair. I think is the, the best way to describe it. Uh, we were on television on ITV for 10 consecutive years making our sketch show and then we went to the BBC and made some other programs and since then I've been doing quite a bit of acting really trying to find out what these actors are up to. I think I got into acting because it's a good way to show off and be noticed you know if you look at how people define their lives everybody wants to be something you know they want to be recognized as being good at something and when I was five years old and first went on the stage and people started applauding and laughing and clapping up all oh, this is good. I felt completely at ease and natural up there so always wanted to make it into a career and I've been lucky enough to be able to do that. I'll be honest with you whether I'm playing poker on the TV or around my own poker table at home or whether I'm playing in a casino I don't care because I just love the game. When you're in a big hand you can feel adrenaline pumping through you you know and it's just a thrill. I guess that's why I like going on stage. It's a similar kind of feeling, you know, you actually feel alive. I am the current reigning showbiz poker champion, um, which I won last year, and I have a trophy. You know, I mean, you spend the money, but you keep the trophy, and it's on my mantelpiece, pride of place. 
Um, I won the first ever competition I ever entered in a casino, which was a, a £10 rebuy tournament in Cardiff. And uh, yeah, I managed to win that and won £1,000. So obviously you're going to get hooked if you win your first ever live thingy, aren't you? So I've won a few things. I think it's important to remain your natural self, whether you're bluffing or whether you have a good hand, because then it's more difficult for people to read you. And you can do it through silence or you can do it through just behaving in the same manner. So I'll be watching the other boys closely and seeing how they behave when they're bluffing. Backley's leading. Torrance and Jimmy White hot on the heels. And the only guy who's looking troublesome right now is Colin Lloyd. Yeah, I mean, uh, he's cool. going to have a couple free hands after this one, but... How Anyways. low is he willing to go? No. Free flop for Never pace with those raggedies. Back lean white. And... Oh, Jimmy. This is a disaster right now for Absolute Steve. Absolute disaster. 10,000. And White's come out betting it. We've seen so many people slow playing big hands. Jimmy White just betting it straight out. Do you like it? Yeah, I like the move. I do like the move. Very hard for Backley to put White on a queen here, isn't cool. it? Cool. Plus. Imagine if another ace came. Backley's got the same hand that he took Norman Pace off of. Ace 10 has figured large in this heat so far. Do you think Jimmy will check here, or is he going to bet it out? I think he'll bet. 20. Just keep 20. firing, huh? I think so. I think Backley will call again. <clears throat> I don't see Steve getting away from this. Hard to put top here down. Hmm. I mean, the issue that the oh. 10 plays as a kicker, oh. is that part of Backley's equation here? Maybe hoping Jimmy has a lower ace? I think so. Perhaps a heart could slow this down. Neither player has one. Three queens, still good. A Check. bluffing opportunity Check. now, perhaps, for Backley. I don't think he's got a bluff in him, though, uh, Jesse. He could have bluffed Sam earlier. Bet 50. Oh, well done. Wow. 50. Well done. I'll tell you what, if there was ever a time for your first bluff, oh. 50,000 on the river. What a bluff. We know Jimmy's got the courage to call this, but will he call it? How can he? Well, you never know with Jimmy White. He's unpredictable. Oh, cool. No! He plays poker like he plays snooker. Oh, my. Well, that, that was just superb. Lost wins. That is unbelievable. Yep. What a Enough. call. Certainly. I don't know what Jimmy White saw. Hardy, what, what, what did he see? Well, Jesse, he I'm, a, I'm amazed. Yeah, That's one of the best call, calls I've ever seen. Was he just stubborn, call, perhaps? Fantastic yeah, play from Backley and so, even better play from again, Jimmy White. <laughs> Just been no, I'm not. No, I'm serious. Would you? I mean, when you show a hand down like that, they just what must make it easier for you to call? Well, he had hearts to the hand before, you know. But for it's a big, what, whoever it was against, it's a big call. No. <laughs> <laughs> Pace can't believe it. Backley can't believe it. But Jimmy White's raking the chips. Three queens on the flop, but when it went heart heart, it got scary. Backley stuck in the fifty thousand bet. <laughs> And I just call more the coolest candidate in three queens being prepared. Yeah. I like that play from Backley. Six. There was a time when I think at the seat when he would have called with that hand. Pass. Call. Call. I have enough chips to do it now. Please. No race. Do you think that uh, Torrance and Jimmy White are going to sort of square off at some point, or is it? are they waiting till the others get knocked out? Because you just get the feeling that they could knock heads. 
I was just thinking the same myself. I'm just wondering if they're keeping out the action a little bit, perhaps to, uh, you know, let the others knock each other out. This is an opportunity. I mean, Jimmy gave Sam Torrance a lot of respect earlier when he had two eights. Ten thousand. But look at his hand here. Torrance has got... Raise. Oh Twenty dear. more. Well... Twenty thousand more. Thirty uh, total. <laughs> Norman has kind of accelerated this by leading out. Jimmy's had no option but to raise here, and Torrance might just shove in. Yeah, Torrance can't get away from this. He's well. got he's got the top pair, oh. and, and he's flashing. Call. Cool. He's announced call here of thirty thousand. Jimmy's in trouble here, Jesse. I mean, he, Torrance's kicker car beats him as well. Are you surprised that Torrance didn't move all in? Um, I'm so, I would have come over the top there, yeah. Find out where you are. If he comes over the top, I think Jimmy's probably got a pass. All of a sudden, Norman Pace. Thank jeez, I know I'm beat, but I may have odds here. No, he can't call here, Jesse. He'll have to put this down. Pass. I wonder if Torrance is trapping Jimmy White. I mean, uh, it, you know, Jimmy could say to himself, well, maybe he's just got a, a naked flush draw. This is very dangerous. The whirlwind could do all his chips. No. You don't I, think think he, I think he smells a rat, I'll be honest with you. That's a, that's a bad card. <laughs> that is a dangerous card for Jimmy White. Check. Check. You called it, Bucky. He does all smell in. something. All in. S is going to get away from this. From he knows something's not quite Jesus right here. I'll tell you, Jimmy White would have loved the free card there. There's actually several cards in the deck that would get him a no, solid it's 30, 60, 90. But um, it's really any card above a 9 that's not a heart. Jack reduce as well. Significant. Oh. What time is it? Is it getting the traffic time or? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Five, seven. Not a pass. Oh, what a good pass. That was a great pass. He's played fantastic poker he really this has. evening. Unbelievable he really poker. has. And I think there's another day and another time when Jimmy White would have called that like a shot. Yeah, this well, is, this is one of the best celebrity heats I've ever seen. Respect, man. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Two years ago, Jimmy White wouldn't have got away from that hand. So this game really on, and who would have thought Norman paced the short stack here? Although, times three and six, Norman's stack is fairly playable. He's got nearly three times, I mean ten times cool. the big blinds. Cool. Me. Cool. Call. Pass. Pass. Jimmy White started things off by limping in with the Ace King suited. I'm lazy. Race. And I think he's caught Norman Pace. Outside. All in. Pace goes all in. Call. Oh, Jimmy, I didn't want to hear that. <laughs> What'd you do that for? <laughs> he said all in. Yeah, he's in the box. I know. He's got to do Mr. something. Mr. Sneaky. Now. What a trap set by Jimmy White. <laughs> Was this his design? He's caught Norman Pace out. That's for sure. Backley still to the side for all his chips. Well, Kevin did start the car. Ooh, limpy boy. Pass. Limpy, How much is limpy that? boy. And, uh... I think I need help. This is all Norman Hello. Pace's chips and half of Jimmy White's, but a, a big pot for there, both of them. Well, yeah, he said that with you two see, I've seen my, on. I've yeah, seen my cards. And fours. <laughs> I need help here. Yeah. Taxi for Pace. 56,000. Like How much? 56,000. Isn't that all? <laughs> Not even made a dent, man. I'm still here for a little while. Are you ready, mate? Ready. Yes, mate. One of them. Hold on, hold on. Wait till he sees the kicker. That's not good news then. I think I'm dominated. Oh, slightly. Ooh. That is the story. Oh. Funnier things have happened, Norman. Yeah, they have. A little <laughs> luck for Norman Pace could double him up, but Jimmy White again has gotten himself in a great spot. Little king out there, baby. And it quickly. Not Don't hard. be getting up. I'm getting <laughs> up as well. Now you sit down. You got <laughs> chips. Exactly. Left. And I still do you, Jimmy. <laughs> Yeah, all three of them. Oh, well, it's opened up the splitters, oh, no, hasn't no, no, it? Yes, it has. Two hearts. Two pair on board would be a split putt. And heart runner, runner. I'm to celebrate Slide. if I suck out on you, Jim. 
I'll be a gentleman if I beat you. Oh, that's a great card for Jimmy White, I think. Yeah, massive card. The king plays. Pace needs a four or ace to split. And that's it. Nine or a five, excuse me. <gasps> or a five wow. to win. <laughs> I didn't see That's that. But uh, Jimmy White, okay. aces and sixes Fours with the sixes king. With nice plays. Plays. Mm, I'll sit down then. No, no, no. And no, you beat Norman. Aces, two aces, two sixes, with sixes, with sixes with the king. King. Oh. Okay. Oh, I'm gone. Oh, dear. He didn't nice realise. He thought it was we'll a split. Well, we all missed it anyway. Cheers, Steve. Well played. You too. Norman out oh, in fifth. And, uh, he just saw some chips out there and went for him, uh, Anthony. And uh, Jimmy White was hanging back with the ace king. Only had to call. Big pot. All the chips. King plays. Aces and sixes. The kicker taking out Normski. It's the best celebrity heat I've ever played in. Uh, the strong players, you know, Sam Torrance is not uh, afraid at all to bet. He uh, he likes to get his chips in first, which I respect. So I was waiting to trap him. Never got a chance to. Jimmy White is a very aggressive player. Um, I think his game's improved a lot over the last few years as well. He's mixing it up a lot better. And Steve Backley, he won a lot of chips from me with the hand I described, but then he gave them back by playing in a similar way and got called by Jimmy, who's completely fearless. So, uh, the two, Sam and, and Jimmy, quality. Welcome back to the PartyPoker.net World Open 3. Tonight our celebrities are battling it out for a place in Heat 1 to face some of the world's top players. Let's get back to our commentators Jesse May and Anthony Hardy. Thanks Lisa for playing in this heat of the PartyPoker.net World Open 3. 23. I think White may have tried to trap Backley here. Jimmy just limped in for yeah. the small blind. All in. He's done oh. it. Oh, 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 even watching. It's a great play by Jimmy. <coughs> Question is, can Backley get away from these? I don't think Backley called this. Eighty-nine. You know, it's interesting. White's limped in. Oh, cool. Whoa, he's called, he's called it. it. Oh. Well, Jimmy, Jimmy thinks he's in trouble. He's actually way ahead. Got ice. Got ice. Nice. You know, Jimmy's okay. limped into Backley's big blind, oh, I don't know, four or five times. Yeah, And uh, that was the first time Jimmy had a real hand, and, and the first time Backley's raised. It's amazing, a, yeah. It's amazing, isn't it? It is. It was like uh, Backley finally caught on that this pot was, these pots Two are times? stealable, and Jimmy no. White finally caught on that he was going to be able to trap them. Oh. One were... step ahead, but now... Five cards to come, and I believe it's Jimmy White all in. Yeah, Jimmy White's all in. Uh, Backley will have some chips left if he loses this pot. But it is a massive pot. White could get back into this heat in one fell swoop, and you know he likes a good gamble. Ooh. Oh, look oh, at that. What's what's a flop. <laughs> Mind you, don't run a runner on the clubs. The dead man's hand is aces and eights. And uh, White has just hit both those pairs. Oh, a four for straight for so Beckley. Four. Oh, surely. Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah. Surely it would be too cruel. Can you get the four? Oh. Oh. <laughs> round about those parts. <laughs> Turn always seems to make it more well interesting. Done, Thank you. Oh, look at all that. Money. And uh, that's the way to get back into a heat in one big. Hot. Slap from pillar to post. I had to do something. <laughs> Why it's back into second? I think that's about his highest chip position now. Two thirty-eight. He's um. As he said, he was dribbling away chips and drew a line in the sand. And poor Backley. He he kind of showed a good move there, didn't he? He did. Yeah. Give me six. Yeah. But we did say, didn't we, that Jimmy's chips <laughs> were, were draining away, and um, all of a sudden he's decided to make a stand, and um, he's doubled through. Fair play to him. Pass. 
Beckley also has half his chips in right now in the big in the small blind. Yeah. Go on, five more. He might decide he's unable to pass. Well then. Eight. Anything reasonable. Yeah. Eight more. Cool. 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 Actually, I, I think Beckley had oh something what around. Was that? 18,000. There's there's 54,000 in this yeah. pot, which if he could manage to make the Jack-5 stand, uh, would triple him up. <coughs> Don't expect to see heavy betting between the other two, do you? Check blind. Up to you. 25. 25. Then again, maybe not. And this looks like oh. curtains for Backley. Yeah, it looks curtains yeah. for Backley. Jimmy hitting a pair of aces. Running spades, perhaps the best potential here. Running two cards for a straight. It's got to be running, running. Yep, queen ten. I just hope that the turn doesn't leave him drawn dead for the river. All you want in this spot is a chance. Oh, and that clever. may have been the oh, best card in the deck. That's a great card. <laughs> yeah, any ten, any spade. Well, it was the best card in the deck. <laughs> oh, Jimmy. <laughs> oh, black. black, but no cigar. Well done, guys. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. Good fun. Cheers. Well, he came to play today, Steve Backley, and play he did. Uh, a a fine performance, sure. uh, for my mind, Anthony. The last hand, uh, Backley really done by the hand for four. But uh, the turn made it interesting. Flush draw, straight draw, couldn't convert in a whirlwind. Takes out Steve Backley with the top pair. It was great fun, and you know, I kind of stuck, sort of stuck to my game plan um, in that I wanted to be aggressive. But I just had, seemed to have so many marginal hands, what felt like marginal hands, and then didn't really know, you know, whether to play them or not. Right? You know, because I'm always of the attitude, either fully in or fully out. And uh, all that marginal stuff, just didn't enjoy that, never really got comfortable. Um, Sam seems comfy on the end, and I, I, I think I lost a, a close call with, uh, with Jimmy. So, uh, you know, it's one of, the, one of the things I think I, I uh, had some moments, but generally, obviously, wasn't that good. So he phones me up and he says to me, it's, uh, it's an absolute, I'd love to come. He says it's 50 cent games. So, the whole weekend I think, what's 50 Cent game? What's 50 Cent James? <laughs> that's, the, that's the name of the club, yeah. 50 Cent yeah. James. Anyways. I thought he said, I don't know, I thought he said 50 Cent games. <laughs> Did you go? Oh yeah. Yes, yeah, nice club, isn't yeah. it? That's a good one. <laughs> I raised 20. 20's the race. What is the race? <laughs> <laughs> Limping from Jimmy White and Sam. Another 20 to you. Yeah, it's a nice club, nice bar downstairs, isn't it? Yeah. And a nightclub in there. Yeah, I haven't been there. Is this a question of who hits the flop? And if Jimmy hits it, is he going to check her bet? 60,000 in there. And they've both got a little piece here. Torrance with second pair, straight draw for white. Do you want to play yeah, Sam's going to bet this probably. 50. 50. Jimmy can't really call. Here, there you are. Three cards off Sam. Yeah. You know, it's funny, every time played, Sam picks yeah. up a good hand, he advertises it. I was born on a golf course, uh, started at five. It was going to be my life from a very early age, and uh, I just had to work hard. and. It's, it was not a chore to go back to the golf course every day, it was a pleasure. One of my best assets is having my father as my coach, you know, someone that loves you, teaching you, you're gonna, he's gonna tell you the truth. Or one, do something you love and getting paid for it, you can't get better than that. And outdoors, you know, when I play in a lot of pro-ams and the high businessmen or whatever come out and say, oh, it's just so wonderful to get out here, out of the office. And I said, yeah, welcome to my office. This is my office out here. Uh, I've won a few tournaments and, uh, Highlights, Ryder Cup will be a highlight. I'm, I'm 
very much a beginner at poker, but I'm an avid fan. I watch it on TV all the time. I started playing about five years ago. I was invited to a tournament and uh, I've never played Holden before. I've played a lot of cards in my life, but I uh, love the game, fascinated by it. I finished sixth about two weeks ago in a bet fair thing at uh, 50 St James, and that was my first time in the prize money. And I was very pleased. You need to be fair, I think you have to be a lot of patience for poker. Uh, you can't play every hand. And if you try and play every hand, I don't think you're going to be too successful. I think you've just got to be patient and wait for a good hand, or wait for the right moment. Or, right position. I don't think in any sport, no matter how good or how bad your opponent is, you must never underestimate them. And if they do, that's a mistake. You know, now, this is kind of the same thing that Backley was doing to Sam Torrance. For some reason, this time Sam hasn't raised. Is he trying to trap here with the King Queen? Does he have more respect for Jimmy White? Or? Perhaps he's just feeling he wants to see a flop. Perhaps he feels he can outplay yeah, Jimmy. The swing run there, but you right in the country. You must have a good hand. You've seen the good hand in there. The swing run is right. I better check then. <laughs> Checks here. I don't know if Jimmy will get away from this one if he bets. It could be a trap check. No, I can't have a queen. Can't have a queen this time. I don't think I get away All from in. this, Jesse. Oh my god. Cool. Cool. Wow! Yep. It happened! The explosion! Oh, Jimmy said you can't have a queen. Oh, Torrance has nice. played this like a dream. Yeah, he's um he's walked into uh, walked into one here, Jimmy. Torrance slow played this before the flop and uh <laughs> White thought he was trap checking. But not all trappers. Four and a half, four hundred and eight thousand this pot. And unless Jimmy White can catch a jack or ten, Sam Torrance be a virtual victor. Two jacks, three tens, that's all there is. And the whirlwind, surely this has been the best poker. Oh, oh he's hit Oh it. my god, he's hit the jack. Oh, Jimmy, he's put his hand up, look at that. How much is it? Torres is keeping straight that faced, but surely that was an arrow through his heart. Oh dear, that is pretty massive chip later. <laughs> wow. It was just Jimmy just said I'd had I've had enough, huh? If you have a queen, good luck to you. That's right. And as you see, even if you are behind sometimes you can get out of it. The, the poker rubber. gods are smiling on Jimmy. Yes, he does. Sorry, Torrance, this 135,000. I'm sure this is the That's lowest he's been since about the second okay. or third hand. Very good, James. What a heat Sam Torrance has played. Grab it, Mike. Grab it. It's, there's really this a sort of a fine art in when to push that panic button, isn't there? Pass. Yeah, it's all to do with timing, isn't it? Yeah. Cool. cool. I think Jimmy White's trying to set Torrance up again here. Right. These guys are, you know, they're they're playing each other very tricky, aren't they? It's like pulling out every stop in the book. Huge oh. flop for Sam. And Jimmy's got part of it as well. Check. Thirty. Thirty thousand. Cool. Cool. Jimmy's cool with the bottom pair. Yeah. And you know, Jimmy doesn't realize how thin he's drawing. I mean, uh, obviously ace or three, but if it comes the ace or of clubs. Oh, that gets him in big trouble. Torrance nearly nailed on for this pot. This could put him back in. How deep will Jimmy White go here? Check. All in. All in. Oh, he's got, brass. He's got brass ones, doesn't he? That's great stuff. Seven could have been a scare card, but Torrance knows no fear. And, uh, looking at the chip counts, that pot pretty significant, Bookie. I mean, uh, Torrance now just about half of Jimmy White's chips. Double through then. Could reverse their yeah, roles. Seven, yeah, one double through and um, with, with Sam and then he's uh, with Jimmy and his chip leader, isn't he? Torrance 
Jones has certainly gotten the most out of his cards tonight. Cool. Jimmy limping in there. I just wonder if that's smart to do with Colin Pass. Lloyd's situation. Come on, Lynn. All in. Yeah. Raised. All in. 32. And Jimmy's going yeah, to call this to take, to try and take Colin out. Okay, gentlemen. Well, it's only a 60-40, but Lloyd won't mind this shot to get over 100,000 again. Well, as you said, you know, he's always putting his chips in when he's in front, and he's done the same again, hasn't he, with this hand? Certain jocks are long. Jack the line, that's right. You know, Jack's half been Jimmy's lucky card tonight. And just leaves the door open here. Mm. Queen for a straight for Jimmy. Mm. Well, he's going to force to sweat this out. You'd like to see a pair on the board, Lloydy. Yeah. Oh, my <laughs> Oh, my <laughs> God. Jack, you just show Jack. Jack. Show yeah. Jack. Okay. This yeah, is the yeah, end yeah. for Football. Colin Lloyd, lest the Remember hook the comes on the river again. Yep, you and the jack. Yeah. Doubt it. Only a jack can save him. Two in the pack. <laughs> four. Four. Yeah. Oh, cold. And Jimmy White. Oh, Jimmy White, well, mate. All the best, mate. Good to meet you. Hey, all the best, mate. Good Keep luck, Good luck. Well, mate. Cheers, fellas. All the best. Thank you. But imagine Colin Lloyd's got a bit Thank of a sorry. future in poker, although the way the darts have been going for him, who says he should stop? Yeah, he played a good game tonight, Colin, and uh, very unlucky. His money was always in with the best of it, as it was here, but the queen on the turn, the straight for Jimmy White, and the whirlwind brings it to heads up. We're all individual sportsmen, you know, we're not part of a team. Um, Sam Ben, the golfer, Jimmy, the snooker player, myself, the dart player. Um, it was just, it's not going to say it's tense, but, you know, I, I was getting a little bit jittery because I was thinking, I don't want to go out, I don't want to go out, I want to. I wanted everyone to stay in to tell you the truth because, like I said, we're just having good fun and um, it'd be nice to do it all again. We're nearing the end of this celebrity heat, so who will be taking gold and who will be relegated? More action to come after the break. This is the PartyPoker.net World Open 3 and the sportsmen are the last standing in our celebrity match so it's getting pretty tense and no one wants to face that knockout blow. Let's head back over to the table. Head to head, two champions for the last remaining seat in the draw. And this is Sam Torrance versus Jimmy White. What a match. It was always going to come down to these two. Yeah, we said at the start, didn't we? We fancied these two. Um, they looks a lot in it, you know, 439,000 against 161,000. One double through for Sam, and all of a sudden he's chip leader. So, you know, it's um, you know, it's, it's, it's not even Stevens, but um, Jimmy is the, the slight favourite. Looking at the big difference, of course, Torrance has won 50% more hands than Jimmy has done. There's been no accident the way he's done it. But, of course, the big pot between them. What's interesting as well, um, Jesse, is, th is their lowest stack. Um, Sam was down to 82,000 and uh, Jimmy down to 86, so uh, quite um, similarities there as well. Small blind is on the button and acts first in head-up play. I think Torrance is looking for any Call. pace card to go all in. Call. No raise. Maybe not any pace card. It's a real blank slate playing head up, isn't it? Uh, I mean, I've heard it said, Bucky, that you should maybe raise about two out of every three pots. But uh, I, yeah, I don't think there's any hard and fast rules, really. Thirty thousand. Each player play, yeah, have got their own style. Two overcards for Torrance and a hard look. Cool. What is that call that about? Today. A decision that perhaps a Niner Jack is good? Yeah, trying to hit an overcard. Perhaps he's going to bluff if, uh, if he doesn't hit. Oh, oh wow. Oh, dear. Check. Oh, It's a great Jimmy. check. That's clever. Oh, he's got Sam to fall for it! You have to get up early in the morning to tr <laughs> to trick Sam Torrance. And I think Jimmy set this one up. 
check. No! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy got all excited and he thought he was going to make did, a move. He did. Uh, he is on. crafty, so he's good sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> i tell you what. He is good. Check. No! Check, Jimmy. Check. Oh, well played. Three sixes on. Oh, gee. You've done well this <laughs> time. <laughs> were you? you were just waiting on me. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Sam, you nearly made your all-in move. Hey, you pass anyway. I didn't think you had much. I thought you'd try and nick it. <laughs> that, uh, you know, Sam, I mean, if Sam Torrance could come back, I mean, that was, that was, how did he, how did he, anybody would have put their hand in the cookie jar there. Oh, it was brilliant, wasn't it? It couldn't pass that up. These guys are playing some great poker. 20 in total. No, that's 15. So You'd have to make it if you're going to raise up 30, love you. Minimum raise, says Jimmy White. Raised 30,000 total. Raise 15. So I take that it's tough for Torrance right now, isn't it? I mean, even yeah. the 15,000 15, costs. Yeah, 15,000. Yeah, if he calls this, Jimmy looks Four. like he's got him dominated. Yeah. Perhaps. Sam's playing a little stop and go here. If he misses, he may bluff. The Queen could spell danger. That's the perfect card. The deuce. All in. All in. Mm. Nope. Pass. <coughs> he showed the deuce. Hard to imagine which of these two is going to be more of a threat in the main draw. They've uh, played enough quality poker to intimidate. Who's ever going to be in their heat, I would believe. Have you been into Asia lately? No, not it's for fantastic. a long time, is it? Fantastic. Yeah. they got a couple of real nice bars, real nice restaurants. Yeah. From what right up market, yeah. A lot of money there, aren't they? All the footballers are there. Sam Torrance on about 150,000. Cool. Cool. 8,000. This call put 30,000 in the pot. Check. No raise. And a dominated hand, Bucky. Hmm. Oh, wow. Oh, dear. I do believe this match is going to go level. 20. 20,000. Does Torrance go all in now? Yeah, I think here raise. Two pair against one. This is the first bit of luck Torrance has had in a, quite a while. But will Jimmy call if he does raise? Checking his cards that he has got two pair. I mean, um, second pair is not a huge hand, but head up. With 40. Yeah, I didn't raise think he'd go all in there. I thought he'd put in a raise there to try and entice total. Jimmy. If he moves all in, then Jimmy is definitely off the hand. Crafty. Yep. It's really hard to see how Jimmy can pass this up, isn't it? I think he'll pass. I'd be inspired if he did. Pass. Wow. That's a good move. Yeah. That oh. was too bad. Did you? What's inspired? Tens and threes. Well, that'll make Jimmy White feel very good. You know, you know it's all on film, do not you? You're telling lies. <laughs> no, that's really good. Yeah. It's interesting, Bucky. I mean, uh, obviously, uh, big blind, yeah. the small yeah. raise there, Torrance now, only about two to one dog. <laughs> was meant to be enticing, but interestingly, I mean, if he had made an all-in raise, it, it might have looked weaker. <coughs> cool. Cool. Yeah. 30 more. Raise 30,000 more. <laughs> Jimmy White's turn for the ace. You know, we've seen quite a cool. few of these, the raise from the big blind, the call from the button with a weak hand. 
but uh, sooner or later someone's gonna hit a flop hard and get on, aren't they? Let it be now. This might qualify for Sam Torrance. All in. All in. Cool. That's what's happened. And uh, Torrance with the better hand right now. Hey. Jimmy White, the chip lead. There's not much in it. Two spades. No. The problem for Jimmy, of course. Uh, He's got a hitter card. <laughs> yeah, he does. Sam's already got his hand. Ten or an ace. Where Sam Torrance is going to have 528,000, but he is all in. Good luck, James. Did Jimmy Same slip man. up on the flop there? <sighs> Or is that continuation necessary? Yeah, it's just it just feels it's time to gamble, really. Sam can hit a six for a straight here as well. That's opened up the spade door. Oh. And the spade train's running. Any spade, any ten. Any ace. Jimmy White! Oh, he's won it. <laughs> wow. Nailed me twice. Oh, man. That's true. Jimmy rivered me twice at the end. I had queens, he had jacks, got a jack. And the last time I had eights, and then he pulled the ace last card. Good luck to him. Another win in style for the whirlwind Jimmy White. Jimmy, congratulations. Thank you, Jesse. Uh, Thank it, you. It was great to watch. I mean, it looks like a new element to your game. I mean, not just aggression, but some great passes and calls as well tonight. Uh, yeah, I played a couple of um, strange hands and a couple of good hands. I, I passed a hand when I had jacks and... Um, Sam had a bigger kicker than me, that was a big pass. And I called with three queens when there was four hearts out there. Well, Jimmy, you were one of the, probably the first sportsmen to really win big at the poker table. It was a couple of years ago, now you're back. What are your plans for this tournament? Uh, well, I have to up my game a bit. I have to play a bit more tighter. And um, hopefully if I hit some good cards, who knows? Well, you're in the main draw now. If you play like you did tonight, I don't think those pros can stop you. Next week, Jimmy White is going to go into the main draw with who? Take away Dave Gregory, Andy the Greekfish, Achilles Kalakis, and more. So we'll see you on the PartyPoker.net World Open 3.